<laughs> okay, just ready, go. The Italian who went to New York. One day I'm going to go to New York to a big hotel. I go down to eat some breakfast. I tell her the waitress I want two piece toast. She bring me only one piece. I tell her I want two pieces. She said, go to the toilet. I say, you now understand. I want two pieces on my plate. She said, you better not piss on the plate, you son of a bitch. I don't even know the lady and she called me son of a bitch. Later, I go to eat some lunch and break the restaurant. The waitress bring me a spoon and a knife, but no fork. I tell her I want a fork. She tell me everybody want a fork. I tell her, you know, understand, I want a fork on the table. She say, you better not fork on the table, you son of a bitch. I don't know the lady and she called me a son of a bitch. So I go back to my room in the hotel and there's no shit on my bed. <laughs> I call her the manager and tell him I want a shit. He tells me to go to the toilet. So I say, you don't understand. I want a shit on the bed. He say, you better not shit on the bed, you son of a bitch. I don't even know the man. And he called me son of a bitch. I go to check out. And the man at the desk, he say, piss to you. And I say, piss on you too, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Go back to Italy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and for years, this you got it. I'll have you had it in your purse, Jens. For years. I, didn't go, I gave it to my next door neighbor, you know, and, and he gave it, just, it to all his pals, and he typed it out for me down. He made a nice copy of it, but I had written it down. Get another one. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. It's very clever, you know. That's genius. Brilliant. Good shot. <laughs> That's your old granny. 89, huh? But I'll tell you something. I don't feel so ashamed before. I used to feel really embarrassed. But now it's everything is so how, how many times, Jess, how many times have you read this? Oh, I've had it for years. I don't know who I've heard it from. <laughs>